You decide to get a new haircut, okay? You get the reference pictures, you go to a hairstylist, you talk to her about what you want. She gives you the haircut and it's actually really amazing. You end up loving it and everyone around you seems to love it as well. You get a lot of compliments. You feel really good about it. And you're just minding your own business one day, looking through old photographs and you realize your hair now looks exactly the way it did when you were like a one-year-old and a two-year-old. So I recently got a pretty short haircut. It has helped me embrace my natural, wavy textured hair. On my recent videos, since I've been rocking this hairstyle, I've genuinely gotten a lot of requests for a styling video. So that's what today is going to be about. I thought I'd sit down and take you through my styling routine and the products that I use. I do borrow some from the curly girl technique but I absolutely did not follow it. It was like this wonderful gateway into learning to manage, learning to style and understand my natural hair but I find it too restrictive so I do not use it. I thought I should let you guys know right away. Education for taking care of our hair, styling our hair if it's not straight, it's very lacking in India. I think it's connected to the obsession with really light skin. If you grew up with hair that was not straight, then you likely went through a lot of collective trauma trying to make it look neat because wavy and curly hair is not considered neat. You likely got called untidy, unkempt and a lot of words like that. This is healing for me and if you have non-straight hair but are wondering how to get started then I hope this video can be just a good starting point for you. I'm on a little mini wiki with my friends to Goa. I used to carry hot tools before but now all of my hair care and styling stuff is in here. I've not really had to minimize anything because I'm traveling. This is all the same stuff that I use at home as well. All of the products that I'm gonna show you guys and talk about are going to be listed and linked in the description bar below. They are really amazing things that work well for me and I think would work well for most hair types really that are non-straight, whether you have a light wave to a tight curl. I usually wash my hair every other day around late evening that's when I do my styling and I make sure that my hair is dry before I go to sleep because if it was wet everything would get ruined. Now I think I'm gonna jump over to last night's Magali. I've been using the shampoo bar on and off from the Switch Fix. This is the blue tea full shampoo bar. This is a very well used bar but I just wanted to keep it real. I can see a hair of mine stuck to the bar which is a little annoying but reality if you're using a bar. Shampoo bars are surprisingly travel friendly. I asked my mom for a soap dish and she gave me this beautiful one which is practically vintage. It's been perfect for carrying the bar around but now I'm thinking of purchasing some soap dishes that are actually made for travel and that have a locking mechanism on them. This bar smells nice, works well and I've really enjoyed using it. So hair that's textured which is basically wavy or curly is very often dry. That's just part of having this kind of texture. So instead of using a conditioner, I'll often use a hair mask which gives deeper nourishment and I'm using this Biolage Ultra Hydra Source Mask. This one is formulated especially for dry hair. It's really nice. My shampoo and conditioner are not constants. I switch them up really often. These are just the things that I'm using right now. This has been my first ever shampoo bar, but it was a lot thicker and I've used it quite a bit. I tried out a shampoo bar because I wanted to try and reduce my consumption of single-use plastics. And I wanted to see if they can be as effective as a liquid shampoo from a bottle. I've had a really good experience with this one and I even purchased another shampoo bar from Switch Fix. A different variant though. In the future, I can see myself transitioning to bars full time. So I've finished my shower. 
got into my clothes, moisturized my face, that's all. You want to work on your hair when it's dripping wet. This is something that I've read across wavy and curly community that's something that's really important. It should not be damp, it should be very wet. These are the two products I'll be using today, the Arata Curly Gel and Curly Cream. This is my newest comb that I just bought. How cute is it? absolutely perfect for what I need. I think initially I used to apply the gel and cream on my hair separately but now I don't really care about doing that so I just take both of the products and put them on my palm. These are the quantities I'm using by the way. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I need so I create this kind of jelly with both of them mixed together and apply this throughout my hair just like the conditioner I try to focus on the lengths more don't be afraid to get in there and then I'm gonna pick up my comb and comb through I only comb my hair when it's wet I have a couple of tricks that I use for volume one of them is to kind of comb outwards from underneath like this. Another trick that I figured out on my own when I'm putting my parting in I'll actually put it in the opposite direction so I usually part my hair on the left side but when I style it I part it on the right so that tomorrow morning when I want to go out I'll part it the other side and that gives me that lift you know now when I comb my hair it's gonna look a little flat and I want that lift so changing the parting tomorrow is how I'm gonna get that volume combing is done now it's time to scrunch I don't know if that look vulgar let's just move on so you just kind of have to grip your hair and shape it. I like scrunching because I feel it really just helps reveal whatever your natural texture is. If you have looser or tighter waves or just full on curls, scrunching just helps show them. And I air dry my hair. So the main thing I have to follow right now is to just let this dry on its own and not touch it, not comb it. You want the gel to work its magic. For my after wash styling products, the first ever hair gel I tried was Arata. And I loved it so much that I never ended up trying any other brand. I finally switched to a different hair gel from Arata itself. So earlier I used to use the blue one, which is just their flaxseed based organic hair gel but then they came out with this range that was specially formulated for wavy and curly people so I knew that I needed to try it out apparently this is a protein gel also and it's hard to get these in India so the combo of hair gel and cream work amazingly well and I think these are going to be my new favorite products they give me a great amount of hold and they make my hair feel and look amazing. I feel like your comb is also something that's very important. When I first started reading about combs that baby and curly people should use, I saw a lot of famous brushes mentioned like the Denman brush and all that everybody talks about. So I spent a lot of money on buying those overhyped brushes. I have two of them. And while a lot of people claim that those expensive hair brushes are life changing, I find them to be good but nothing so special and nothing I can't do without. I actually really like this comb, I'm sorry there's hair on it, <laughs> this is a hair video right? So this is a handmade comb, this is made of cellulose acetate so it's like plastic but I suppose it's renewable, don't quote me on that. This is a perfect kind of comb for baby and curly people because the teeth are more spaced out, you do not want a fine comb. It is really nice, the teeth also are not pointy at the ends, they are nice and rounded and they are not going to hurt your scalp. I also decided to purchase an aluminum comb <laughs> um, but 
the teeth on this are spaced too tightly so i'm not gonna use this i'm gonna give this to my mom or dad i feel like it's such a beautiful object but you want teeth that are more widely spaced out like this one you can get a bigger comb also i just intentionally wanted a nice cute tiny one just look for the word shampoo comb these are combs formulated to use when your hair is wet so they should have more spaced out bristles like this one and they should be more gentle one thing i've had to unlearn is using a comb when my hair is dry it's something that really freaks my mother out because she feels like again comb is making your hair neat looking presentable but I do not use a comb at all in between washes. If I have second day hair and it looks a little messy, I will fix it up by running my fingers through it only. Comb is going to open out your waves and curls. You just end up with more frizz. So do yourself a favor and keep your comb aside. Only use it wet. You guys have seen my nighttime styling, then you should see like the morning after very minimum styling that I do to get my hair looking good. Hi guys, so this is my morning time hair. This is what I am working with when I wake up. It looks a little silly right now, but we can get it looking good in no time. So usually when you apply gel, it does leave something called a gel cast, which makes your hair extra crunchy. Since I sleep and I have short hair, I can't really tie it. The gel cast kind of breaks on its own, but I still get some definition. So, the hair is feeling pretty soft. It's not feeling crunchy, even at the back. You guys can see there's no cast remaining. Just a little bit at the top, it's crunchy. That's because it does not get smooshed on the pillow. This is where I'm gonna fix my parting to create volume. I'm only using a comb for parting not combing my hair and I'll just kind of finger comb the top of my hair so that the gel cast breaks out I know some people prefer breaking the cast with oil and stuff but I don't feel that I need it my scalp gets greasy anyway so I don't want to be putting oil on I'm not looking in the mirror now. I don't know if this looks any good. I rarely look in a mirror in real life also. I almost forgot to talk to you guys about this hairspray. This is the Chesame Compressed Micro Mist Hairspray in Hold Level 1. This is just going to protect my hair from humidity over the course of the day. And it's not crunchy feeling. I'll still be able to move my hair, touch my hair and it won't feel gross at the end of the day. I know I've been hyping up this hairspray so much but surprisingly on vacation I have found that I don't need it as much as I thought I would. The gel and cream combo are giving my hair a good amount of hold. Even when I went on the beach and got back my waves still had definition. The beach breeze and the salty air is usually pretty harsh and it was just really blustery so I thought my hair was going to be a frizzy mess but it was not. To me this is similar to using primer or more accurately a setting spray when you have makeup on. You don't absolutely need a setting spray but if you want to ensure that your makeup will look fresher for longer then you use a setting spray. It's the same thing with this hairspray, it's an optional product. So that's it for today's video. I feel like I have a very simple routine but I talk through it too much. I'm just really enthusiastic about this topic. Loving my own natural hair I feel like has done wonders for my self-esteem. I hope this video helps some of you guys and if you have any questions at all that you think I can answer, please leave them in the comments below and I would be happy to help out. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.